Hello, I'm Kevin Caserta, and I'm blessed to serve as your Senior Medical Director of Population Health and Clinical Physiatrist. If you know anything about baseball, you know that the Mariners season is going the long direction. Well, I have some exciting news for you. So, our Summit Pacific Medical Center leadership is going to be proposing to the Mariners very near, in the very near future a plan to make them also become a highly reliable organization. So, for you non-baseball fans, here's a little bit about what's happening with the Seattle Mariners currently. So, since June 18th, their record has only been 20, 20 wins versus 33 losses. That's 3-3. Not very good whatsoever. They've actually blown a 10-game lead in the ALO West, going from 10 games up to the Houston Astros to now being behind by 5.5 games. Not good whatsoever. The playoff odds during that time decreased from over 90% to being only one in five, and that's resulted in the firing of Seattle Mariners manager, Scott Service. If things don't change soon, the M season will be a serious safety event. So anytime you have something like this, you need to, from based on high reliability, have a questioning attitude. So let's see if maybe the Mariners have what we call a knowledge-based performance issue. One of the tools we use during that time is called qualify, validate, and verify. So questions we may ask are, does this make sense? Is it what I expect? And does this ultimately fit in? So let's look into the Mariners um, hitting at this point. So bringing in our questioning attitude, the Mariners batting average is the worst in the league at 0.216%. Slugging percentage, the 29th, scoring less than four, four runs per game, and in fact, a little over a third of the time, the Mariners have only scored two runs or have scored less than two runs. Not good at all. They clearly have a knowledge base error when it comes to hitting. So when that happens, what do you do? You check it with an independent source. And that's why we think the Seattle Mariners need high reliability. So what we're going to do is prepare an SBAR situation background, assessment, and recommendation for our Seattle Mariners, President of Operations, Jerry Depoto. So it's going to begin something like this. S, situation. The only way to save the Mariners' seasons, and frankly, your job, Jerry, is to make the Mariners a highly reliable organization. So here's the background. B, the M's OPS is 0.666. You know you're not doing well, Jerry, when your OPS on base plays plus slugging percentage is the mark of the beast. Come on. So what you need to do is realize that HRO has helped thousands of organizations improve their safety as well as performance. So assessment, A, frankly, your offense sucks and you're wasting some of the best pitching and Mariners hitting. You need HRO, which can decrease your serious safety events well, for you, what you may call bad plays, by 80%, 8-0. So our recommendation R is you hire SP Etmacy as your highly as your high reliability consultant. So what if he says no? Well, we actually have an escalation tool in high reliability called CUSP. It begins with C or for concern. Jerry, I'm concerned that with HRO, the Mariners are going to miss the playoffs again for the 22nd time in 23 years. You uncomfortable. Jerry, I'm uncomfortable with the poor offensive performance that the Seattle Mariners have every almost every single year. You need HRO. S, safety. This is a safety issue. Your black batters blow so much air that they are contributing global warming. Come on, get HRO. And finally, S, supervisor or escalate. This happens if, for instance, Jerry's still being stubborn. We need another perspective. Let's talk to John Stanton, Mariner's CEO about HRO. So assuming this happens, the first tool that we're gonna have the Mariners focus in on is really around paying attention to detail and what we call STAR. So let's look at their hitting again. They average over 10 strikeouts per game. That's 0.5 worse than Colorado, who's the next worst team, and then 3.59 um, more strikeouts per game than San Diego, who leads all of baseball. So star starts when the Mariners are in the batting box. Begins with S, stop. Think about, pause, and focus in on what you're going to do next. 
Then T, think, okay, this is a situation. What type of pitch am I going to be expecting? How am I going to do my swing? A, act. Concentrate to finally swing. And then finally, R, review. Did you hit it? Well, then you better run as fast as you can to first base. But if you didn't, what are you going to do for the next pitch? Now, the reality is hitting isn't the only Mariners issue. I think they have an issue with communicating and communicating clearly in particular instead. And we know this is based on their errors, which is almost is, which is more than one every two games. My good. And it's not just slips, laps and fumbles or skill based errors. I think they have an issue with communication as well. So one way to improve it is called closed loop communication. And it really begins with the shortstop maybe gets the ball, J.B. Crawford when he comes back. Hey, I'm going to throw it to first, first baseman. You're throwing it to me. Shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Yes, that is correct. That's what's called closed loop communication. So the reality is um, we don't know if the Mariners are going to improve their season or not. But the good news is you can become a high reliability five to a, to a player. And how do we do that? We begin to use the tools, um, qualify, validate, and verify, SBAR, situation, background, assessment, recommendation, cuss, concern, uncomfortable, safety, and finally supervisor or escalate, and then star, stop, think, add, review, and then of course, closed loop communication. Now, even if the Mariners don't, you can become, like I said, the high reliability five tool star. And if you know five tools, when Diana Kohler and, and Mike come by in probably a few weeks, you can actually get a treat. So once again, batter up for our high reliability. You take care of me. Thank you for your time.